The Dallas arts community preparing for a comeback. Today, they released a plan of action to help keep patrons safe once those venues are reopened. We want to make sure that they know what the expectations are when they come to any of the arts and culture organizations in the city of Dallas. Debbie Story is the president and CEO of the AT&T Performing Arts Center, one of the 51 groups adopting new guidelines and safety standards in the wake of COVID-19. Masks will be a must, along with social distancing. There will also be a code of conduct for patrons, pre-reserved or timed entrances, and low-touch or even touch-free ticketing. As for when the doors will actually reopen, it's still up in the air. When it is safe, when we believe that we have all of the right protocols in place, when we have performers who are willing to perform on stage, and when we have audience members who are convinced that they're going to be, um, that their health and safety will be protected in our venues, then we'll make the decision to open. The shutdown has had a huge effect on the arts in Dallas. Story says 650 employees and artists have been furloughed during this time, and a recent survey of 57 arts organizations showed more than $33 million in lost revenue in just the first two months. The impact continues to be really tough on all of us, and we're all very determined to survive during this crisis because what we believe art provides healing and, um, and this city, when we're able to get back together again, we're gonna need the healing power of art to bring us together. Story says they're planning for a soft opening in September with a focus on local performers.